how to perform a manipulation under anesthetic for frozen shoulder. This lady was diagnosed with frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis with largely normal looking plain radiographs. She was placed supine and taken through her normal range of motion prior to manipulation. Forward flexion revealed a 70 degree lift off with internal and external rotation severely limited. Stabilizing the scapular blade, the shoulder was lifted off close to its fulcrum with a short lever arm to prevent excessive uh, torsional force and graduated movements applied. It is important excessive force is not applied here as this can cause fracture. Audible clicks and occasional giving uh, can be felt uh, once the adhesions are released. The shoulder girdle is then brought into adduction in multiple planes with graduated pressure again applied. Rotational forces to the shoulder girdle are only applied at the end of the manipulation as this is most likely to cause fracture. Internal and external rotation are again done in a graduated manner. The shoulder girdle is then taken through its full range of motion in lift-off, external rotation, adduction and abduction, as well as internal rotation with near normal movements restored. The anesthetic cocktail is then drawn with 40 mg of Kendalog and 20 mL of 0.5% bifurcane with adrenaline. The landmarks are drawn here and the injection uh, placed just lateral to the coracoid process and uh, aspirated. A hematoma flush should be seen uh, as the capsule is torn uh, with the needle insertion and the uh, anesthetic injected relatively freely. Uh, 5 mL is reserved for the subacromial space.